Oh my goodness. My face. me and today's video is going to be very nostalgic for myself because I'm going to be reacting to my old videos. Now a lot of these videos are currently no longer on YouTube. A lot of my old videos I actually had to delete because they got copyrighted so they are actually no longer on my channel. They've been gone for a while so because I now have over 300,000 subscribers, so thanks to all of you guys for subscribing. A lot of you guys are, so, well, I say new, but these videos literally have not been seen for over four years, so basically none of you have seen them, apart from any of you guys that personally know me and watch them as soon as I posted them, or some of these I actually never got around to posting on YouTube because they are that embarrassing. <laughs> so I thought I'd talk a little bit about how I started YouTube before we go on to it. So the sort of equestrian community has changed a lot and there really aren't many of us who make sort of horsey videos. So um, basically I watched a lot of horsey videos back in, well I still do now, but it was mainly back in 2013-2014 where I really started watching YouTube more than TV kind of thing. And it was when I was 14, so I think it was the summer of 2015. I made like a few vlogs but I never posted them because I didn't have like the confidence to do that. So a lot of the videos that I actually started posting were just edits of me riding Casper at like jumping clinics and things because um, basically back in the day for any of you um, young people, Instagram wouldn't let you post a video longer than 15 seconds. <laughs> so if you wanted to make an edit of you riding you kind of had to upload it to YouTube so that's kind of what I did. So, but before that, the first ever video that I actually uploaded to YouTube was like back in the day when like there were those viral videos of something sort of funny or different, like a panda sneezing, that kind of thing. So I uploaded a video which is still on YouTube today and was my first ever video and it's, it was something along the lines of pony hits horse in the head, something like that. So I thought we would react to that first because it's quite a funny video. Obviously I'm not somebody that like laughs at when somebody gets hurt. Like I, personally I don't find those videos very funny if anybody gets hurt in any way in a video but I find it funny looking back on it because it was when around when we first got, I think we'd had Casper for about a year and I think Mickey just got a bit fed up with him and decided to kick him in the head when Casper was rolling. And looking back at it, I find it funny because it shows Mickey's cheeky personality, but also it's just the noise of Mickey like thudding Casper. It's so violent. So um, yeah, that's kind of a funny video. But before we react to that, I thought I'd go a bit more on how I started like vlogging and doing videos talking to the camera. So um, yeah, the, act the second video that I actually ever posted was called Casper and it's actually on here right now. And the reason why I actually made that video and uploaded it to YouTube was because I actually had a really bad ride on Casper at Pony Club and I came home like in tears. I was so upset, I think I fell off or something like that. Basically it went horribly. Because if you didn't know, when I first got Casper, he was very green, he was very young and just a lot going to like different places and he just found it a bit much. So he would like buck me off, brunk me, brunk me off basically. And we were a bit of a mess. So after that day I was so upset. So I decided to make a video of all the good clips of us kind of riding. So I could look back on and be like, oh we've come so far even though I've had a bad day. Like we all have bad days kind of thing. So I made a video basically showing like how we'd improved in the year of owning him. So that was the first video that I made called Casper. And um, yeah, so I thought we'd react to a few and then I basically just made the odd little vlogs and things and then from then on the channel is what it is today. So let's go on to YouTube and find the video that I first uploaded. We can see when it was actually uploaded. I think it was like February 2015, but we'll see. I've also got some headphones because a lot of the music is copyrighted. So I'm going to listen to it and tell you what the songs are. Um, so then I won't get claimed for this video. And then and I'll probably put some background music in just so it's a little bit more interesting even though it might not go with the video. So let's go on to my channel. I find it really interesting going on other people's like YouTubers channels, clicking on videos and then clicking on oldest and just watching their oldest videos. I just find it so entertaining. Okay, day added, oldest. Let's have a look. 
pony hits horse in the head when rolling. Oh, it's got 50,000 views. I remember uploading this video and being like, oh, it's gonna get like a million views overnight, like it's gonna go viral. That never happened. <laughs> so if we click on that, I just need to connect my headphones first. So let's pop them on. Okay, so my headphones are synced up. Sorry if I'm talking a bit loudly, it's because I've got the headphones on. So let's have a look at this video. I haven't watched this in a while, actually. Okay, Casper is rolling. Oh, he's digging first. Oh my gosh, he's so dirty. I've got such a baby voice. There goes Mickey. Yes. Oh! That was way more vicious than I remember it being. <laughs> Mickey. Oh my gosh, you can hear my dad in the background going, blimey, is he all right? He was fine, he was completely fine. He was just, yeah. <laughs> Mickey, you cheeky little boy. So anyway, that was my first ever video uploaded to YouTube, so a bit of a different one. Anyway, let's go on to um, some of the sort of older videos. So I think we should react to the one Casper because that was sort of, uh, where is it? Here it is, Casper. I think I used music from like iMovie because I didn't know how to get music from like the internet or music that I'd like have on my laptop onto it. So it took me a while to actually learn how to edit. I literally learned how to edit by watching loads of like tutorials and things on YouTube. So let's have a look at this. This has got quite a few old clips that you might recognize from my like five years with Casper video. Oh my goodness, this saddle pad looks so clean. That was when it was like brand new. Oh, and I get. Oh, I'm loving the music. <laughs> it's like guitar. We look so unbalanced. Wait, let me just pause that a sec. Oh my goodness, these clips, I look, wait, I need to turn the volume down because it's a little bit loud and I'm shouting <laughs> because I've got the headphones on. But yeah, we look so unbalanced. Like this was back when Casper couldn't even canter on the right rein without being disunited. So this is some old, old footage. But yeah, this is like at Pony Club and things. Oh my goodness. He has like no muscle. Okay, so this was our first camp. This was him rolling in his stable, getting shavings absolutely everywhere. Thanks, Casp. Oh, grid work. Oh my gosh, I am not releasing. <laughs> I'm just pulling on the reins as we go over the jump. So my shopping position's definitely improved a bit. Okay, I remember this, this video. I flap like a chicken as we go up the hill. Oh, there I go. <laughs> Bingo wings. <laughs> and then here he looks at it, but he jumps it. Very honest little guy. A uh, bit disunited, trot back to canter, still disunited. <laughs> oh, 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 and he jumped it. Oh my gosh, he was so honest then, like literally he could have run out. Oh, he's starting to look a little bit better. Okay, motorbike turn round the corner. He literally flopped over that fence. Oh my goodness, this is such old footage. Okay, this was our, I think this was our first or second camp and I was so proud because he jumped over this corner fence that I was absolutely terrified of. But I was so happy he jumped it first time as well. Oh, the school looks so new. Oh yeah, also, as you can see, I've been matchy-matchy since the start. I'm literally wearing like a matching blue hat silk and top. Okay, there's some more pony club jumping. Love that. It's just so funny, this is before like, oh my, that was my first camp with Casper, that was when we did junior camp, not senior. I remember that oxer being like absolutely huge and up to it. Oh, and yes, Casper still makes that noise when he rolls, he goes like, he just makes the weirdest noises sometimes, he's a very vocal horse. So that was my video, Casper. I remember posting it to YouTube and it literally getting no views because I didn't know how to link the video on my Instagram, so I was just like, oh, like, watch this video. <laughs> Um, my YouTube channel name is like, this says, I actually came, yeah, my Instagram name was this says me before I made my YouTube. And the reason why I actually made my Instagram name this says me is because a lot of people think that my name is Esme, not as me. So I made it this says me, so it sounds like this is me. So it sounds like more like my name rather than Esme. So that's why I made the name, that's how I came up with it, but um, stuck with it today, that's what my YouTube channel was called, but yeah, it, nobody, I just said, oh yeah, the video's called Casper, so if you typed into YouTube Casper, then obviously my video wouldn't have come up because it had like zero views. Um, so yeah, that was 
that was an experience watching that. A lot of footage I think you've probably seen in that before from like my five years with Casper, as I've said before. Okay, so the next video is gonna be one of the like first proper videos I made. I put so much effort into it. I used like an, my grooming box as a tripod and all of these videos as well were filmed on my like iPhone 4 or maybe my iPhone 5. I can't remember, but it was definitely one of my like first or second iPhones. And okay, so this is my autumn and winter morning routine or daily routine 2015 so this is an old one this was like when i this was yeah one of the i remember telling my friend about it being like so excited like oh i've started a youtube channel um if i can find it ah here it is okay let's play oh my gosh this this is because this was all filmed before we moved house. So this was in my old house. So it's gonna look so different, like the yard and everything. You guys aren't gonna recognize it at all. Even though it's the same place, we have had a lot of building work and things done. So it looks totally different. Oh, I remember my Kiwi socks as well. Okay, let's start. Okay, so the music in this is copyrighted, but I'll tell you what I used. I used Imagine Dragons Radioactive, <laughs> which is quite funny, so obviously you won't be able to hear the music. Oh, a little time lapse of me walking over to the horses. Okay, let's just pause this, because this stable, you guys literally won't recognise, but this was Mickey and Casper's old stable. It's actually a movable field shelter. So if you don't know, in the UK, if you want to build anything, you have to have planning permission, which is really difficult to get. It's really strict. Um, so we actually still have these stables and my dad and my brother use it as like their bike shed or like their man shed, that kind of thing. So it's still in use. But um, I just find it so funny. Oh, they had their little, I made like DIY nameplates. And it's so funny because they still have the same colors as well. Mickey being the sort of turquoise blue, Casper being the purple. So it's been their colors for a long time. So let's watch the rest of it. Okay, so they've come out to say hello. The donkey's old stable. Oh my goodness. So this is so cute. So. Um, again, it's got the DIY <laughs> nameplate. They did actually end up rotting in the end. I tried to put varnish and things on, but we get a lot of rain here in the UK, so they just got destroyed. Um, but the donkey's old stable was actually part of like a barn. So this was before we actually had a tack room. So my tack room was literally just in the garage. So that's why when we got my tack room, that is my tack room today, I was like, okay, I'm designing it. I'm so excited to actually have a place to put my saddle. Like before I literally used to put my saddle on an old chair, which is not great for your saddle. Don't do that guys. But anyway, okay. So let's, uh, the donkeys, it's so cute because we once let them free to walk around. Okay. So the, yeah, we once let them free to walk around and they literally like went to where the old stable was. It was so cute, they remembered where it was. But yeah, inside the old stable was actually the feed room. So you kind of have, it's like an old tour of what the yard used to be like. So yeah, if you go in here, it's the feed room. So we still have the same feed bins, which is quite cool. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I still have my, I have my tiger like spray bottles, but I only have two. I have the pink one and the purple one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, I forgot when the tack room and feed room used to look like that. Okay. So, okay, so this is the first bit we actually see me in the video. And oh my goodness, my hair is so dark. So this was when I first started having it like colored. So I first had it ombre and then I've just gone lighter and lighter ever since. So my hair also looks so poofy as well. Also, if you're wondering why my hair is straight, I literally had it cut yesterday, so that's why it's straight. Because my hair's curly, and if not, the hairdresser can't cut it curly, because it can not be wonky kind of thing, so. So yeah, as you can see, it is actually a field shelter, because there's like a hole where there's like light coming through. So yeah, and he's got his purple bucket, and oh, Mickey is always excited as ever his, for his food. I think I still actually have that coat, but the zip's broken, so I just wear it with the poppers done up, but I haven't worn it for a while. Oh, Mickey, so cute. Okay, so I'm just gonna pause it again because here you can see the old barn. So we used to have an old sort of corrugated iron barn 
and we had it demolished and we built our house sort of in that area instead because we managed to get planning permission to first convert the barn and then to actually build our house. Um, so yeah, oh my gosh, this little Bruno and Toby, they look so fluffy. I think this was filmed in like October, November. So a long time ago. They still have their little names on their feed buckets. And yes, they're still the same colors as they have today. There's Willow. So here's me leading Bruno and Toby. This is before they had their current head collars, so they're all like not very nice colors. They've literally owned those head collars since before I was born, so they're really old ones, so they've got new ones now. Oh, out they go in the field. Okay, so if I pause it here, you can actually see the field. You can kind of recognize which field that is because that's their like main paddock that the horses are currently in. And the pine trees and the pine forest, they look so small. The trees have grown so much, so obviously up there is where the new kind of stables are. Okay, let's resume and leading Willow out. I still have that lead rope and use it today. So yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's, you can just about see in the background there's an old cross country fence which is just made of tires. This is really taking me back. So I think when they when I made this video, it was about 14, 15. So here I'm tying up Casper and tying up Mickey. Oh, Casper still has that like plaid sort of checkered rug. Looks so cute. There I'm taking off their stable rugs and putting on their turnout rugs. And Casper, Casper, oh no, he doesn't have that rug anymore. Mickey definitely doesn't have that rug anymore. Mickey destroyed that blue rug years ago. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. It looks like the same, but so old. Almost all the buckets. All the buckets, still the same color. Me cleaning the buckets out. I think those buckets are pretty brand new when I filmed this video. Oh, time for some mucking out. <gasps> and all nice and clean. They really didn't have that many shavings there, Esme. I sound like some of my comments now. <laughs> Mickey's stable, always the most dirty. Literally, I don't know how Mickey does it. He's smaller than Casper, but makes such a mess. So obviously, it isn't a This Is Me video without a little time lapse of me mucking out their stable. <laughs> it's still pretty satisfying to watch, though. There I go. I still have that blue shovel. But yeah. I don't know how he got the shavings on that bit either. Like, how did he get it so messy? There's me sweeping it all up. And putting the shavings back down again. I don't know if I actually did a time lapse of me doing the donkeys or not. Oh, I did. That was when we had the blue wheelbarrow. So this blue wheelbarrow. So this blue wheelbarrow actually has a story to it because I think it was my ninth or my 10th birthday. I was such like a little equestrian kid because the one thing I wanted for my birthday was a blue wheelbarrow. Like all of my friends were like asking for like iPads and things. I was like, no, I just want a blue wheelbarrow. It's like the little things like I just love. So yeah, I've got a purple wheelbarrow now because that one died a sad death, got a hole in and yeah. But yeah, and I have my blue wheelbarrow and matching blue shovel. Oh, I look so young. Oh, now it's time to do the hay nets. So yeah. <gasps> the old barn. So I don't know if you can see, but there are some dents on the old barn because we loaned a pony called Bradley for a while, which was my first ever loan pony that we actually kept like on our field. Um, so the our friends kept him on our field for free in return that I could like ride him every now and again. And he had sweet itch, so he would rub his butt against the barn doors so they got all dented. And it's so funny just looking back at it. Oh, do we get to see in the barn? Oh no, we just get to see the floor, or do we? Oh, there's the big hay pile. Oh, that's so, this is really taking me back. It's so weird because this is like not here anymore. So it's just funny seeing it again. Okay, so filling up all the hay nets. Oh, I was very good. Sweeping the yard as well. There we go. I think oh, 10 seconds left of the video. We're almost done. I can't remember what we finished it on. 
Okay, so back in the day when I first started YouTube, my sort of outro, my intro, was with this sort of classic iMovie text, and it would be the this and the Esme, and then it would like swoosh in. Um, so yeah, with like some ukulele. That was so funny watching that again. Okay, so what other videos should I watch? I, I actually made a video ages ago. Okay. Okay. <gasps> okay, I've got a how to clean a bridal video. And I remember one of the first comments that I got on this video was from some girl and she said that it sounded like Tracy Beaker. <laughs> and I was like, oh, is it because I've got a British accent? And she was like, no, I'm British as well. And I was like, oh, okay. So let's see what I sound like. I probably sound like so young. Okay, so I have all my tap cleaner and things. Oh yeah, that classic ukulele music in the background. Love that. Oh, I'm so quiet. I'm gonna have to turn the sound up, love. Speak up, Esme. I have such a baby voice. Oh yeah, love those sponges or cloths. That was before. That was before I had my my Primark colourful sponges. Oh. Oh yeah, gotta need and a towel. Finally, you'll also need some leather conditioner. Love some leather conditioner. That looks so battered, I think I dropped it loads. So this was in our old house, so it's really bringing me back because it feels like so long ago. And I'm just using the sink in our sort of like toilet and washing it. Oh my goodness. My hair was so frizzy there. Rinse there I am, undoing the bridle. And I literally just chucked the whole bridal pieces sponges. apart in water. I didn't know back then that then it's not very good for your tack to get wet or leather to get wet, so I literally would just like chuck my whole bridle in water. Oh gosh, that was not good. And then there's just me cleaning. Oh, Esme getting the angles. You can, I don't know how I did that. I don't know if I got a tripod or if I, I don't know how I got that angle, but oh, I remember how I got that angle. So basically in our old house above the sink, we had some shelves and I think I, what I must have done is got my phone, put it on the shelf and then have like the camera sort of sitting up like that. So that how I got that, that's how I got the vertical angle. So really getting, getting there. And then the rest is just me cleaning the tack and yeah. Wait, let's just watch the outro. Sure <gasps> oh, that old music really does take me back. Okay, so these are definitely some really old videos. I'm gonna try and find a vlog now because I want to find one where I'm actually sort of talking to the camera. Um, watch, which one should I pick? I feel like... I want to, I'm gonna put them in date order and see which one is the oldest. So I have a winter hack with Mickey and Cookie. Let's see what that. Oh my goodness! <gasps> my face! Oh my good. Okay, so I was probably like 14, 15 here, and I look so different. So my hair is so much darker and my teeth, so this was when I had braces. I actually had braces for like almost two years and I actually have a gap because not many people know this, but I actually have a fake tooth. I think it's that one there, but I have a fake tooth because basically my adult te teeth never, I have a fake tooth because my adult teeth never, never get, these headphones are, it's like a speech jammer. So basically I have a fake tooth because my adult teeth never came through. So yeah, that's why, <laughs> but I look so, oh, you can see Casper in the background, that's so funny. Oh, it looks so different because our house isn't there. So this was when, back when I was still riding Mickey before he became retired. I don't know if I went bitless with Mickey yet or not, but I look so different. Okay. Oh yeah, so I had gone bitless then, so that's when Mickey had his little hack and more. That was when I had the shanks before I removed them. But um, I sound so young. Oh my goodness. 
Okay everybody, I am going to finish today's video here because I, even though I've only gone through about three videos, we have covered a lot in today's video and I don't want to make it too long and too boring for you guys, but that was so strange watching some of my really old videos. It wasn't really, I made videos for about two, maybe three years until I started like properly getting views and things so I it was really like 2015 I basically started like near the end of the year just making the odd video as you would have seen it was around sort of November kind of time and then it was 2016 I would literally just make the odd video every now and again when I felt like it for fun just for myself to look back on like a video diary and then one of the videos I actually made that I think got me up to 200 subs was my how to tack up a horse which is still actually on my YouTube channel um, it was a GoPro tack how to tack up a horse English something like that so that video because it was like a tutorial it helped a lot of people and I was like oh my goodness I can carry on doing this and things um, and helping people so that's when I started doing like vlogs and more tutorial kind of based videos but yeah, so that, that has been so strange, just looking at all of these titles. So there are a lot of videos left here. So if you'd like me to do a second part to this video, reacting to some more of my old videos, uh, then leave a comment down below and let me know, because I've had a lot of fun looking at this. And it wasn't really until 2017 that I started making videos at least once a week, and that's when I first started posting at a Friday at 4 p.m. so then um, I, you guys know when I'm uploading my videos and also um, it forces me to make sure I have a video out every week as well at least so yeah it was in it was the summer of 2017 after I finished my GCSE so I was 16 that was when I first got 10,000 subscribers which just blew my mind and still does today to be honest and I remember um, at the end of that summer, I managed to save up enough money to buy my first ever camera. So you don't need like a fancy camera or anything. I literally did it all on my phone until I got 10,000 subscribers, which is pretty wild. So a lot of you guys have asked me to do like a video on like tips for starting a YouTube channel if any of you guys want to. So instead of doing like a whole video, I thought I'd just like list some off now. So the first thing would be make a channel about something you're passionate about. So I could talk about Mickey and Casper and horses all day. That's like one of the reasons why I made a YouTube channel because my friends would get sick of me talking about horses all the time. And then the second thing is don't use copyrighted music. Number one, YouTube will strike against your channel. Number two, your videos will probably get blocked in countries that, in different countries and things basically, which is not great. And number three, YouTube will not recommend your videos to other people because it's got copyrighted music. So YouTube makes less money from it so they don't want to promote it basically so um, that's yeah basically no copyrighted music using copyrighted music is a big no-no so I'd recommend using like trusted websites and things don't use anything dodgy because sometimes some music they say it's copyright non copyrighted and then they copyright it so just be careful out there guys and then number two is if you do make an equestrian channel be original, like do everything like different, like because there are so many people out there and they just make the same things. You just want to go be out there, do something different. And that's how you actually stand out away from the crowd, if that makes sense. Um, what else would I recommend? Also, if you do make an equestrian channel, you don't have like the one thing I had no confidence was talking to the camera. Like I was so awkward, as you can tell in a lot of the footage, I was so so quiet even though like um, we had our stables like nobody else was at the stables it was just me I was still so quiet and like nervous and anxious when talking to the camera when now you know you just get used to it it's one of those things that it's just a skill that you just need to practice and yeah basically um, what else so yeah I just started off making videos without me talking learn how to edit a lot of the videos I actually made I didn't publish to YouTube like at all because I just wanted to I wanted them to be like perfect even though some of these videos are nowhere near perfect and neither are my videos now like I it'll be so funny to see me reacting to the videos I'm making now in five years time or something like that would be so funny 
But yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed today's video, um, enjoyed looking back at some of my old videos. I do actually have quite a few of my older ones from like 2016, I think I have a whole 2016 sort of playlist on my channel, so if you ever get bored and fancy looking through some of my old videos, then that would be much appreciated. But anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please subscribe, um, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!